keys are in the ignition. Welcome YouTube. And I am at a very, very historic site. Not this, but there's about four buildings that are real. This one is not. This is a recreation. This building is maybe 20 years old or something like that. Maybe there's a sign that'll say over here. But this, this is called New Bridge Landing. This is, wait, maybe this isn't, oh, this is the Campbell Christie House. You can't read that. Let's get a closer look. It's a very old sign. I don't have to do this. The Campbell Christie House. I remember this house. This, this was moved here in 1978 or 9. And I first learned about it when I was a kid. About, I was in the 8th grade. And this, it was abandoned for about oh, 20 years or something loaded with antiques this this was a, a time capsule house too bad there wasn't youtube back then but um it says the campbell christie house this dutch style sandstone house had stood in new milford since the revolution faced with demolition it was saved for our country's heritage by moving it to this site on September 27, 1977. This preservation was accomplished through the combined efforts of the organizations named here. Bergen County Historical Society, Campbell Christie Historical Society, Bergen County Board of Chosen Freeholders, and uh, let's see who the names are. Calabrese, Koran, oh, O'Connor. Uh, Charles Reed, so he's the only famous person here. Charles Reed, there's a street in Bergenfield called Reed Avenue or Reed Street. So this is the Campbell Christie house. This used to be in the Milford. So it's been here since 1977. They moved it here uh, on a flatbed. It wasn't brick by brick, like the next one I'm gonna show you. Now, there's a privy back there. I don't know, that could be real. I think it is, but there's people here. I don't know, maybe they won't get mad. Let's go in the yard. Here's some bricks. See, these are bricks that are, they were from the, um, the other house. I think there was an addition. There used to be an addition on the right side that's not here. They, did, they tore that down. There was a fire started by little kids playing with matches. And it was in the paper. I read about it. I was pissed off. Excuse my language, but... Um, yeah, they did a beautiful job on it. They gave it the um, cedar shingle roofing. Is that is that what it's called? I don't know. Of course, the chimneys aren't. There's there's two chimneys there. Now that's not the originals. They used to be on the more to the to the sides. See what they did was they tore the attic down. Sorry to spoil it, but um, yeah, they tore the attic down because of the other fire. And there used to be an addition on the right side that was really nice. It was from the Victorian era. And uh, these windows are not real. These are from 1977. But they did such a good job that you might think these are real, but they're not. 
sun. I don't know if you can see that, but um, I don't even think these shutters are, are real, but you know, they're from 1977, so they're pushing 50 years old. Same thing with this. I can't see a dang thing, but um, from the sun. But this is from 1977, and it's showing signs of age already, which I like, but I'm kind of, I don't know if it opens. No, it doesn't open. And this. There's another one on this side, suffering the same fate. It's rotting at the at the base. It's possible. I'd have to look at older photos, but I'm pretty sure that's a recreation. But it, they, these were here on the other house, I think. Oh, look at this. That's really bad. It's from 1977. I'm surprised. Campbell Christie House. Oh, you can scan this with your uh, cell phone. Watch the video to find out the answer to the question on the scavenger hunt list. It's so modern and space age, it kind of ruins it. But, eh, you know, it's a contrast. Let's try to get this in full view. Cool, this is where the addition was. You can see remnants of something that used to be there. I don't know what was there, but maybe it had something to do with plumbing or I don't know. Could have been a window. But right here in this side was an addition. It appears there was a window here. Then you got that. That's not real. That's a recreation. Pretty sure. Just people looking. There's some kind of a mound. I don't see any coins. We'd love to metal detect this mound. Then you got this thing. Whatever it is. Alright, so let's so that was the Campbell Christie house from seventeen I forgot. Sorry. I'm not going back. I think it was 1779. And the wing that I was talking about was from 1876. So if you want to know what that looked like, you would have to Google Campbell Christie House in New Milford. And there's pictures of it. And there's also pictures of it when it was abandoned. And you would see like the stuff I was talking about. When I went inside, I found a lot of old papers and stuff. And I took some of them, kept them. One was a booklet about the reconstruction of a church in Bergenfield built in 1723. And it was the 50th anniversary of the enlargement 
of the old Dutch Reformed Church in Bergenfield, and it was dated 1917, commemorating the 1867 enlargement. So we're approaching now another house that used to be in New Milford. This is the Demarest house. And this was moved here in 1955. And it too used to be abandoned. And there's pictures of it also abandoned. No windows, all the windows were blown out. I'm pretty sure the top part with the same fate as the other building, the Campbell Christie house I just showed you. And, um, there's a red barn here. That's real. It was moved here from like Woodcliffe Lake or something. I don't know. There's, there's a sign there. It'll, it'll tell you. But this is the Demarest house and it's from 16 something. I have no idea what's inside. And uh, the sun is just so bright. And here's like an old grist, we, uh, what do you call this thing? From a grist mill. This was like to make wheat flour. And it was a two family, it appears. There's a door here and a door there. So this was a two family. And this sign here says, am I even pointing at it? It's so, so bright, I can't even see the screen, but it says Old Demarest House erected and somebody blotched it out because I guess they made a mistake. Erected, blah, 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 at the Milford. Re removed to this site. That's what it says. Uh, I can't even see. It says removed to this site by Hiram Blavelt. And Hiram Blavel was the person who lived in that big mansion in one of my videos that's in Oradell, which is abandoned at this moment, waiting to be explored once again before it finally meets its fate of collapse or demolition. This tombstone is not a tombstone but it's a um, sign that says 12 miles to Hoboken. 12 miles to Hoboken. And I used to live about a block away from Hoboken when I was a kid. So this is when it was built. It says 1696. A lot of flooding here. I feel sorry for the building's foundation. Well, it's on a positive slope, at least in this part. Sort of. Yeah. But right here, I would. I would say no. Yeah, kind of. And then look at this. This is flooding. So this is the barn from the 1870s. There's a guy there, he's getting all uptight. People come here to do weed.
can't sit on that bench. Wouldn't be recommended. I don't see any fish. But sometimes it happens. Like the river flooded here, I think, the day before. Yeah, a couple of days ago, there was a flood here. This was underwater again. I feel sorry for this next house. This is the Steuben house. Or um, some people say the Steuben house. The von Steuben house. I hear a lot of people calling it the von Steuben house. But I've also heard people say that its proper pronunciation is von Steuben. Yeah? Von Steuben? Yeah? Das von Steuben Haas ist verleten. Yeah? Ist verleten. It's cool though. And it too was moved. It used to be like closer to the river or something. For some reason, they had to move this house as well. This house has been extensively renovated, altered many times since I even first came here as a 10 year old kid. But this is probably from the 20s. No, it's from 1937. Pointing at it? I don't even think I am. Let me see. What's going on here? Maybe that is it. Yeah, that's the sign. It's too high up. It's like, it should be lower. Then there's this thing, <clears throat> like a carving. 1752, 1892, D-A-Z. That probably is, means David Abraham Zabriskie. See right here. Hope you can see that. And then it says I-Z and A-Z. So I guess that's Isabel uh, Zabriskie and Abram Zabriskie. But that's cool though. It's got that date up there, 1752. And there's a, a date here. It says, looks like my 20. But when this was built, this was, um, built by people who spoke the Dutch language. And then there's the majestic Hackensack River. Here's the front porch of this former museum that now stands abandoned. doing this with a cell phone, so. There's dormers up there. Hope they used uh, step flashing when they did the roof. It's very important when you get your roof done. You have to watch out that the roofer doesn't skip that, because if he does, you're in for some trouble, let me tell you, it happened to me. And I hope they corrected it. So these shutters, I think, are real. Is it a doorknob? That sounds cool. Sounds like an old antique lock 
that's an original window I believe or it's definitely well over a hundred years old you just spin that and then you go back in time another doorknob. What the heck? It's raised. Same thing. It's got a really old clinkety lock. Hmm, what happened here? It's just a stick. Maybe they took the old stove out. That's what happened to the Campbell Christie house that we were looking at before. They took, they took down part of the porch so they could take stuff out like a tub and the, the um, stove. There was an old cast iron stove and a wood burning. or whatever it was they took out, I don't know. And then this is like a drawbridge from 1880 some odd. I don't see any snappers, but um, there have been sightings of snapping turtles in this area that are so huge. I mean, I saw one myself on uh, Newbridge Road, the road in the background, just a stone's throw away. Right about, can you see? I can't even see my, right about there, I saw a snapping turtle coming from the other direction, and he went over the fence. That's how big he was. It was like a Galapagos sized turtle, but it was a snapping turtle. And there's a walkway there. So imagine if you were just walking by when he popped out of the woods. He was huge. Biggest one I ever saw. And then I saw one down there. I don't know if you could see it with the glare, but. It's a very nice day today for January, but we are going to receive very blustery weather in the next few coming days. So this bridge was closed to traffic about almost 60 years ago, if not more. And they put new wood down. And then over there, they had to put even more new wood down. And nothing remains anymore they're used to, oh it's underwater probably uh, you can't really see it when it's low tide you could actually see where the how this you know this was a swing bridge boats used to travel down here and then up right in there you could see how it branches off it's a tributary one goes that way and then one goes that way And then down there, I actually see a boat a boat docked at the shore.
And that's basically it. And then there used to be a, a building up here that I, uh, I filmed it about two years ago. I think it's gone. Yeah, it's not there no more. Yeah, it used to be like right here. Right here was a big old building. Right here. And then right here. It used to be a house. It's gone. You'd never even know it. There's some remnants down here, maybe. I don't know. But for the most part, it's gone. I think it was right here. Not a trace. And then here was um, stores. And uh, businesses that were torn down in the 1950s, 1960s. And you can dig for old bottles here when it's not so saturated. I found a couple of old bottles here. Glover's Imperial Mange Medicine. Uh, worm Syrup. Some bottle that said Worm Syrup. And that's about it. Can't believe that house is gone. It was here, it was real old. The Hackensack Indian Village, early colonial settlement, and the real George Washington Bridge. The real George Washington Bridge, cool. 1910, New Bridge, New Jersey. That's a picture of the uh, New Bridge Inn, burnt down in the fire in 1964. I like that though, the original George Washington Bridge. So there you have it. That's the original George Washington Bridge. And then not down far from here, found a pocket watch that was in about 50 pieces and it was gold. It was a pretty remarkable find and the banks right here, I could see rat footprints. But I found like right in this area, I found like a, a, a debris field of a pocket watch that had been there for so long it just separated and it was all cog wheels everywhere and it was made of gold and that was in 1980 when I found it and I brought it to the coin store and I got, I got like 50 bucks for it All right, so there you have it. Signing out.